right now how precious bees are. So it's nice if we can create an environment where the bees can do their business or they can at least come and visit us sometimes, at least the ones that don't sting. <laughs> Something like that. Something yeah. like that. <laughs> well, yes and no. Okay. I'm going to clarify this a little bit. A lot of the emails and responses I've been getting from viewers have been about the fact that they don't have a lot of fruit on their apple trees or, you know, they're not getting a lot of tomatoes because they don't have a lot of pollinators. Mm -hmm. And we've had a lot of concern across Canada about honeybees. And it's been in the news and everybody's paying attention to honeybees. This is not for honeybees. Okay. We're making houses for mason bees. Okay. Now, mason bees are a great pollinator as well. But, and there's a big but here, they yeah. don't produce honey. Right. So this is not for you to get honey from your flowers. No. This is This is just for pollinating the yard. What's also beautiful about mason bees is the males don't sting at all. Okay, that's so good. So no stings. The mm -hmm. females are very passive. So these are not mm -hmm. aggressive bees. You maybe hear a little bit about Africanized bees right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. Not the case with mason bees. So these are the types of insects you want in your yard. Because yeah. they're going to make your flowers happier. They're going to produce, you know, or cross-pollinate some of your plants. So you're going to get better fruit, better vegetables. Nice. This is what you want. So we're going to show everybody how to actually make mason bee houses. So, they, okay? so they, they're they attracted and they have a place to hang out. And they want to live your in your house. space. They want to yeah. live there. Yeah, and you don't have to worry about kids because, again, this is not the honeybee that you know people have the huge allergies to. This right. is very different. Okay. okay. So the one thing about mason bees is mason bees naturally live in the tubes that woodpeckers dig into holes or trees. Right. So if you've ever seen a woodpecker peck the holes, it's almost like this grid system, the woodpeckers going into this, the bark, pulling out the bugs. The mason bees go back into those holes and lay their larvae. Interesting. So that's what you're trying to create. So this okay. is a simple little house and a perfect example of what mason bees look for. Okay. These, I'm going to pull one out here, are just cardboard tubes. Oh, okay. Okay. And the mason bees will actually lay an egg and close up the end of them so birds can't get in. And yeah. they will, this is how they will, you know, prop. Uh, propagate. This is how they will spread. Yeah. So they will fill each one of these with eggs and each one of these will turn into a basically a hatchery almost, a nursery for bees. Right. Okay. Which so, is an okay thing to be creating in your yard because they're passive bees. Exactly. And the, ma the males don't bite. And the males don't bite okay. at all. Again, you want to put them at the back of the yard for because sure. when guests come over, they don't know that those are <laughs> passive bees. They're right. just like, ah, bees, and they start running like crazy, right? <laughs> yeah. I've been at a few of those parties. Uh, <laughs> so these, these are for the back of the yard. But again, this is the type of insect you want to encourage in. Okay. So one of the easiest ways to make this, I found, was I actually took one of these little birdhouses. Cute. Yep. And I cut the front face off. All right. Okay. Yeah. Nothing complicated. These are just bamboo poles. Yeah. And I just had them cut. Now, I'm going to point this out to you because the first time I cut them, I'm like, what is wrong here? They often have very small holes. They're not that hollow. They're not that hollow. Mm -hmm. So when you're picking your bamboo, make sure you get some really good dried okay. so that the pith inside is actually much bigger. Yeah. You want 5 16th inch, okay? Yeah. Which, you know, most people go, what the heck is that? Just aim for a bigger hole. Okay? You, you can tell, I mean, visually, you can tell. And I exactly. think that it's good that you said that because we like to know where things might go wrong with our own DIYs. Yeah, and this so is you one have of those. to check. Yeah. So, and you're going to cut your bamboo to fit mm -hmm. your house, and you're going to just fill the whole thing with bamboo, and you're done. It's cool. that easy. So, here's some FYIs, though. Do yes. not paint. Do not oh. paint your houses, and that's why I've kept them all natural mm -hmm. here. Do not paint, do not use green pressure treated wood. Okay. It's toxic for the bees, oh, okay? okay? One more I wanna show you really quick here. Yep. Is this is another style of mason bee house that you can do very easily. This is just leftover wood. All right. Okay, and again, all we've done is a grid pattern. We've drawn it out uh, and we've drilled the holes in. Got it. Okay, the mason bees will love this. That's Nothing even else easier. is going to use this. Yeah, you have to put a lid on top of it though. Okay. Originally, I had planned to do some other stuff, and the more I read about it, the more I realized that the mason bees need water protection. Okay. okay? So you have to put a lid on it because the water will wash off the coating that actually protects the bees inside of the holes. Right. Okay, so that's really important. Again, the coating is what protects them from birds coming and woodpeckers eating them. Right. You don't want that. But if you put this in your backyard, you encourage a mason bee colony. Again, we mentioned better fruit, better vegetables. Yeah. At the same time, you're helping the environment. It's not honeybees, it's something different, but you're mm. doing what's right, what we all need. So mm -hmm. don't be panicked about bees in the backyard. Some of them are good. Okay, I love that. A great Yay. lesson. Let's go to break. we got more coming up.